Ice oval latte. Embark is an idea. Um, it's an idea born out of a need for change in education. So if you tighten that screw, it'll move the brake away from the rim. So just right there, give it like maybe one full turn. You know, to be more specific, Embark is a micro school embedded within two small businesses, Tin Wheel Coffee and Framework Cycles. And what we need to do is measure it, biggest chain ring to biggest cog, okay. and then we're going to add a link. We think about education just very differently. Our education centers on the learners, but it also centers on this idea that learning needs to be contextualized, embedded, and, and really owned by students. And so we kind of throw out a lot of a lot of the paradigms of, of what education should be or has been and we think really about what, what could education look like. I just feel like I learn better in this situation. I don't think at the beginning of this year I thought I needed to be at a traditional school sitting down at a computer listening to a teacher talk all day. And so so much of what we do here is make space for our learners to find their own voice. Like a revolutionary style of learning where uh, it's a lot more free. They give us a lot more time to do our own work, really. We just feel so proud to create a space where students see themselves, uh, feel safe, feel comfortable, and feel at home. So I know I can be myself. Um, I know people support who I am, and they're really like nice to me, and people just help you through everything. I know I can be my inner self. Like at um, other schools, I couldn't bring my inner child out. Um, but now I know that I'm Embark, I can. I do think the name Embark is so significant, not because they hadn't been embarking on a journey, they've been on a journey all along, but really we know that something magical happens during these adolescent ages, and that is they're embarking on the rest of their life. I guess what we've been using is real world learning. So Embark is a micro middle school. We are a middle school with traditional grades six, seventh, and eighth. Currently we have 28 students and we'll always hover around 30. One of the things that people don't often notice is our seasonal menu. In fact, they do notice it, but what it doesn't say is that many of these drinks were actually created from scratch by our students. And this is an example of a way in which students will learn here. You know, that required them to learn about drink chemistry, learn about profitability, market research around would this sort of drink sell, and do, honestly, quite a bit of drink tasting, which they loved. It's not just about like a making lattes, I guess. Learning how to communicate with other people on the outside world. Like, we get to work in a coffee shop and we do things, but there's also, like, some things you might not notice is there's a sign up there that always sits on top of the pastries and it tells you what roasters are roasting. Um, some of the kids from Bark, including me, picked out one of those roasters. We went through a six-week process um, where we picked out a roaster for Embark. Uh, for pinwheel. Nitro cold brew. You know, use our traditional educator skill set and mindset around this, those standards, but to apply it in a novel way where the students can really understand, well, this is the purpose for the research-based essay, this is the purpose for that algebraic equation, versus, uh, okay, I did this algebraic equation seven times, so I guess I have it mastered now. It was really like a moment yeah. for me where I realized if my work isn't good enough, okay. if I don't write a solid essay on why I think this company is better, then Pinwheel might end up with a company that isn't the bright best for them. We really want our space to be diverse and um, different than other people. When we originally thought about the idea of the school, we thought about, well, who, who is this for and who traditionally has access to these, these sorts of learning experiences and environments? And the answer has been that uh, you know, a, a wealthy, privileged clientele has been the ones who typically know of these schools or can afford them. And so part of our thinking is how do we break down those barriers? What are the barriers even? And so, of course, you know, cost is a significant barrier. Cool, is that it? We are intentionally tuition free to live our values of equity and anti-bias, anti-racism. Nitro cold brew, caramel. You know, and we often talk about what's the end point. Well, we don't actually know. You know, no, nobody knows, but we know that we're helping them to, to launch their journeys.